Hi guys, so I did a video the other day and it was about um, it was about this character that I had rigged and I was doing a squash and stretch um, we call it I was doing yeah some squash and stretch with smart bones and interestingly enough I got a comment on my video uh, let's take a look so the comment comes from Melito T and it says no, 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 you're doing it all wrong. Don't use smart bones for squash and stretch. That function is programmable under bone control. Just make sure you click it on and transform bone on any frame except zero. And to that I reply, replied, yes, I know you can squash and stretch with the bone. Um, that's how I normally do it. But you have less control with it. You're limited to the way it wants to squash and stretch, which looks very generic this allows me to do the squash and stretch the way I want to so it's not wrong just a different method happy animating thanks for taking the time out to comment I thought I would use this as a video because uh, Melita does bring up an interesting point you can actually do stretch um, squash and stretch with the bones you know it's already built in you just have to turn it on and I'm gonna show you so here I have my character and I start st sort of started doing some squash and stretch of the bones but I'm going to just do it again and show you so um, if I click on the select bone tool and I go to bone constraints see I already have squash and stretch turned on normally it's turned off and you see when it's turned off you see him stop stretching I'm going to set this to one which is usually the default and I'm going to do it for both the head and the body, right? Just so you can understand. So, if I decide to stretch him, you're going to see what it looks like when we stretch with the bone. This is a built in functionality, right? So, I really did not have to create these smart bones. However, I'm going to explain to you why I created the smart bones. You're going to see in a minute. Now, you see me stretching the head, the head here. And it looks good. This looks pretty good, right? This pretty much stretches the way that I would want it to stretch, right? It's pretty much almost the way I animated it, and I can go really extreme with it, right? If I wanted to, I could up the ante, and let's put it to two. So when I put it to two, and I take the transform tool and I stretch it basically for the same distance it's stretching twice as much right anyway now let's do it to the body all right so you see it's squashing and stretching now here's the problem and this is why I use the smart bones right I could always use something called action and you know attach an action to the bone and basically tell it when you know when you do this action adjust the points by this much to compensate but I didn't want to go through that hassle I just decided to do it in a smart bone but if you look here it doesn't quite stretch the way I want you notice the arms are left out there in limbo the more I stretch it right this is about how much I would want it to stretch and you see the arms are being left in limbo and when I squash there's in my opinion way too much body here it does not look as attractive as you know what I programmed with was it this no. with here right this is the kind of squash that I want where the weight goes down into the body right as opposed to this where the body is overlapping the arms here and it doesn't as much feel like a squash it feels like he's just melting basically <laughs> um, but yeah that's why I decided to do it with smart bones because with the smart bones I can just control what I want to control see like stretched here and I pull the arms in and that's recorded as the action that I want right as opposed to when I'm stretching here 
this would mean that I would have to be adjusting the arms every time I stretch this. I don't want to do that. All right? As I said, I could always use actions, but I don't want to use that method either. So, like I said, um, Melito. Yep, I got it right. So, like I said, Melito. It's not wrong, it's just a different method. It's the method that I chose to use. And you can use any method. I mean, there's more than one way to do things. And yeah, just be open to different methods. This might, method might not be for you, but it's what works for me. All right. Thanks for taking the time. See you guys next time.